Hi there. Hey. Cooper's back. I'm back. This week, we're going to be talking about, what do we call it? Uh... So for our film in particular, the conversation of whether for it to be a completely single camera shoot or to involve... Two cameras. Another camera. Also something that's important, I think, is to make it a conversation and not make it a steamroll. Like, n- like not to have either me or her or a producer or whatever come in and say, this is this. This is a two camera shoot. And you're sitting here like, well, what if I don't want it to be, a, you know, you know, a two camera shoot. And that's exactly. like, I think making it a dialogue as opposed to an order is a really important thing. Pros of single cam. First, obviously it's a little bit more fluid, right? Especially for Cooper who likes to operate, right? He likes to be in the camera. So for him, it's, correct me if I'm wrong, it's a lot more intimate and it's familiar. For Mm -hmm. us, it's very familiar. It's how we work. That's a big pro. Now on the flip side of that, what we're running up against is time. A big pro to the two cam Mm -hmm. is time saving, right? Also being able to capture a lot of moments with children that we may not be able to do multiple takes of because they're kids on a single cam. Also the ability to capture B-roll, which a lot of indie films forget about, Mm -hmm. right? Because they're so busy trying to make their days. Having that second camera, even if we're not using it for a particular scene, it's not a two camera scene, we're able to use that other camera to capture Mm B-roll while another camera is actually shooting the scene. Or even send them out to do splinter unit like landscapes and that kind of stuff. Super helpful. Now let's talk about cost. Another pro for single cam, it's cheaper, right? Less people, less equipment, that. Mm -hmm. Now, is it really cheaper? Here's the thing that I find about most indie shoots. Reshoots, pickups, almost every time. That costs a lot more money. Also, going over on your days, overtime, that costs Mm -hmm. a lot of money. All right? All because not a lot of indies use two cameras. I mean, you can't go overtime on some days with the kids. With the kids, (laughs) you can't go overtime. You'll get in trouble. And then, so there's fines, you know? So you have to really think, is it saving? Okay, I might be spending more money up front, but I'm actually saving more money on the long run with two cameras. Now the challenge becomes, which you can chime in for this, Cooper, how to maintain that very, because he can't can't operate when it's a two camera shoot. Highly advised against it. But the mistake producers make when trying to save money on two camera shoots. Mm. Is only hiring one operator for B cam and having the DP operate A cam. Now why does that suck? For a lot of reasons. For a DP, if you can't, sit with your village or DIT or whatever your setup is and be able to monitor your, your operator's framing to keep it consistent, to keep it what you want, you're putting a lot of trust in someone to operate your second camera in a way that you are 100% okay with. Some people might say, oh, you can just go check frame and check playback. That takes time. More, and more time. You Waste don't time. have that time. It's a lot faster to sit with a walkie and sit with your monitors and be on just walkie with your operators and tweak framing in seconds, then walk over, check his framing, have a discussion, come back, check playback. That does take Even the time. lighting for the second camera too, because you're not just checking framing. You're making sure mm-hmm. for that second camera that the lighting all matches, mm-hmm. you know, because that's another thing mm-hmm. that we've talked about is one consistency. of the <laughs> consistency. One of the cons that I think, you know, some people find with shooting two cameras, sometimes it can be a little bit more difficult to light. Mm-hmm. Good thing about Cooper is he's a pro. It's not difficult for him. Yeah, having being able to sit back is nice. can also be kind of intimidating. A lot of DPs may feel like a sense of comfort well, in the is. camera. <laughs> yeah, the there's, there's a lot of comfort in being in the camera. You can sometimes when, you know, they, and this is not just new people. But you I, know, this is a very tranquil place. It's a tranquil place. And this, this is even the best DPs in the world. Sometimes when they don't know exactly the answer to something or they don't have a set plan for something or it's some the, the day is intimidating, you always have that camera as kind of a buffer. I'll give you a tip, though. I'll give you guys a tip. Anyone's watching this and is a, doing a two or three camera shoot as a cinematographer. You don't know what to do. 
and this is this is not my tip. This was actually given to me by my professor back in college. He was an ASC cinematographer and really, really talented. But what can I cuss? When you don't know what to do and you are completely at a loss, pull out that light meter, walk over to the set, and just start measuring something. Use that 10, 15 seconds, five seconds, whatever it is, to sit there and say, what the fuck am I doing? Because sometimes having that moment of just clarity and silence can be invaluable. And that's a great time to do that. If you're not, if, and that's the one time, if you're not on my camera, you can, you have the freedom. You have a light meter. That. You have hide a light behind meter. your light meter if you don't have a camera to hide behind. That's the moral of that story. Really the point of this vlog this evening um, is more about the fact that sometimes when your initial, like, our initial instinct was to say, no, single cam, take a moment, take a step back and say, challenge it, challenge it. Why am I, why not two cameras? What does that look like? And if that image on set looks like, Hey, two cameras is the way to go. You're going to have to check your ego and say, okay, what's, what, what kind of fears are holding me back mm -hmm. from this particular experience? And at the end of the day, you have to do what's best for the movie. Mm -hmm. And the shoot. Oh, the, the movie. Yeah. Sure. They are the same. All right, you guys. Till next time. Have a great one.